Hi guys, welcome back, welcome, welcome. So it's another beautiful sunny day here in Southern California and as y'all know, I love to play in some makeup so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> I just want to do like a bright colorful look. Y'all know I'm feeling colorful today and I want to try out a couple of new items that I have purchased over who knows the last few months in my last haul just whatever and I want to check them out so I'm going to be trying some new products today. The eyeshadow palettes that I chose to use today are these two so I'm going to use my James Charles if that could fit in the <laughs> fit in the frame and my Violet Voss also I'm going to use this so it's a very pretty colorful palette. Let me show it to you. I know you guys know what the James Charles looks like. This is what the Violet Voss looks like. So very, very pretty and colorful. Has some gorgeous bright shades in here. I know you guys know what this looks like, but let me show it to you anyway. The James Charles. <laughs> so it should be fairly easy for me to come up with a pretty colorful look today. Um, One of the new items. Oh. And I might be chewing every now and then because I'm starving. Okay, so I'm going to be snacking while I am. <laughs> while I'm putting my makeup on. So please forgive me. Okay, I got my little blue diamond almonds over here that I'm snacking on because a, a girl is hungry. Anyway, but I want to try this e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I got this in my last e.l.f. order. Y'all know how I am about hydration and moisturizing my face and skin and stuff. I'm just all about it. So I really wanted to try this out. It says it has purified water, shea, and vitamin E. So I've never used a balm to moisturize my face before. So this is going to be my first time. Ooh, this is going to be my first time using a balm on my face. So this is what it looks like. Very cute and they have a lot of different caps and stuff it's another cap on here okay hmm it doesn't smell like anything i have nuts on my face <laughs> yeah it doesn't smell like anything and it twists up like so so i'm going to use this before i get started on my eyes because i wanted to kind of seep into my skin if that makes sense and yes, I will be looking over here because I need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> and oh, that feels good. It feels really good. Oh, I like that. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on, but <laughs> but I like it. Oh, it feels nice. I like it. I know I'm putting too much, you guys. I don't care. It feels good. So it feels really good. You know, you can see that nice little shine or sheen on my face and it's kind of like, it doesn't feel greasy, but I can feel it on my face. So I really wanted to see if it's going to soak into my skin by the time I finish my eyes and move on to my primer. So we'll see. Okay, so to start my eyes, I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And I'm going to use this to prep my lids. Okay, so I have my eyelids prepped and ready to go. I think I'm going to use tape today so I can just kind of throw color on my eyes and not have to worry about keeping it all neat and stuff. And when you do your tape, you guys, just try and get them as <laughs> close to precise and even as possible. A lot of times, sometimes I have one too high, one too low, whatever. This is what we're working with today, okay? So, I can't decide if I want black in the crease try and do something a little different today or if I want color in the crease I think I'm gonna do color in the crease so I'm going to go into this deep matte purple shade here this one here and place that in my crease Y'all, this purple though, oh my gosh. It's something about purple on the eyes. I just love it, I just love it. Now, I wanna fade out that purple with, I don't know if I should use this color or this color. I think I'm gonna try this color 
because I don't want it to be too, too dark over the purple, but I do want to kind of blend it out with a bit of red. So I'm going to go into this orangey red shade here and just try to buff out that purple. Okay, that mug is pigmented too, okay. But you guys see, I just want to blend out the edge of that purple and just kind of have it gradiate up into my eyebrow. Okay, so I did kind of go back and forth a bit with the purple and the red a little bit just until I got it to gradiate the way that I want it to. So now, of course, I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion to cut my crease. And then we'll get started on these lids, y'all. All right, y'all know how I do. Halfway decent cut crease, okay? Okay, so for the cut crease, I'm gonna start out with this gorgeous pink shade here, which is Flamingo. So I'm gonna use that on the inner portion of my cut crease. Hmm. So it's okay, but not really popping like I want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of Buttercup, this really pretty yellow color right next to the pink. And this time I'm going to start off with wetting my brush. Okay, all right Buttercup. Okay, so next I'm going to go into Fiji. I know I said I wanted to do something colorful, but I swear I was not trying to go this colorful, you guys, but y'all know me. <laughs> okay, so next, Violet. This gorgeous purple shade, I have to use that. Now I'm going to go back in with that light blue shade and just kind of blend that into the purple. Mm, that purple is aggressive. It's like I ain't blending into nobody, honey. I'm here and you're going to see me. Me and this blue about to force this purple into submission. You're going to blend, honey. You're going to blend. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some eyeliner on these eyes first. I think I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. And when I'm doing my eyeliner, I try to kind of put a little bit on my upper lashes just to kind of cover up whatever shimmery fallout I might have on top of my lashes. But I also try to get it really close to my lash line because I can, my eyes are too sensitive to where I can't tight line underneath my lash, so I try to get it as dark as possible right next to my lash line. Okay, so this eye look is nothing like I had planned for it to look. <laughs> Why? Because I'm always going off on the deep end with my looks, but that's what we're rolling with today, okay? So, next I want to try out this Milk Blur Stick. I got this little sample. Um... I think from Sephora. So it is supposed to be a silicone free matte primer and it comes in this little stick form. This cute little sample here. It says <clears throat> milk on there. Very cute. And so I'm going to try this out because I've been pretty intrigued. I've never tried anything from milk foundation powder or nothing. So I just want to see what the hubbub is about about this blur stick okay yes i feel like it's blurring y'all know i always put too much on so i'm really glad that i used that elf 
um, moisturizing stick ahead of time because it did need some time to soak into my skin. I could have just used too much. <laughs> That's possible. Well, it does feel very mattifying, um, but not drying. So it doesn't feel dry, but it does feel like it's mattifying. And I could see where it's supposed to have like a blurring effect. Okay. So for foundation today, for the first time, I'm trying out this BH Liquid Foundation. So the BH Cosmetics Foundation here, trying this out. And it says Naturally Flawless. Let me see what shade I got. Warm Chestnut. So I'm trying out Warm Chestnut. So this is what the color looks like that I'm trying. <laughs> it looks orange as usual. <laughs> So this is what the bottle looks like. BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. And yeah, it does. It looks pretty orange, but it's in a frosted bottle. So we'll see what happens. And if the color doesn't match, I'll just put on a turtleneck and nobody will know. <laughs> so it does have a pump on here. And the foundation is pretty thick, pretty thick. So it says naturally flawless, but I don't see matte on here anywhere. So I don't know if it's supposed to get matte or not. Okay, so I had to look this up because I'm not sure exactly what I should be expecting from this foundation because it's not giving me full coverage and it's not matte. So it says get skin pampering benefits and a radiant complexion with our new and improved BH liquid foundation. Reformulate it with the addition of hyaluronic acid. It helps keep skin hydrated and younger looking. This foundation provides lightweight, medium to full coverage. <laughs> I guess however much you put on. And a natural satin finish and comes in 24 shades to flatter multiple skin tones. Okay, so it's, it's supposed to be like a satin finish, natural satin finish, which I don't like. <laughs> So, okay, I will be powdering for sure. And let me go ahead and add another coat because like I said, it's not full coverage at all. And I wonder if I would like this better with a brush. I don't know, but so far I'm not feeling it. It's too satiny and too dewy for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't wait to powder my face up, that's for sure. Yep, she's dewy. <laughs> okay, so for concealer today, I was going to try out this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because I don't think I've ever actually tried the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I'm going to try this out today since I'm just doing new stuff on my face. This one is in the color 40, which is caramel, and it actually looks a bit light to me, but we're going to roll with it. Just my initial thoughts putting it on. It doesn't feel as thick as my Revolution Concealer. So I don't know how the coverage is going to be for this. Okay, so it's not the most amazing coverage. I can still see my dark circles peeking through just a little bit. That sometimes it bothers me, sometimes it doesn't. It just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say it's bothering me per se right now, but since I am testing this out and the color is actually not too, too bad. Yeah, it's actually not too, too bad, but since I am testing it out, I am going to just do just a little bit more right here just to see if I can get those dark circles to kind of disappear. So it's buildable, it's definitely buildable. So I am going to contour with my Fenty Matchstick in Espresso 
just so I can get a little bit of dimension going on this face because I'm looking like a round egg right now. I do like the fact that I don't have to rush to powder under my eyes though because as you can see along with this foundation that concealer is pretty dewy. It's not drying at all. <laughs> okay so for powder of my highlighted areas today I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty in the color Honey because I do want to use this. Maybe to help out this concealer a little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I really like this Fenty powder. I really do. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but I'm feeling it. I like this color, honey. It's very nice. Okay, you guys, so I haven't used this Becca Be A Light palette yet, and I really want to use it. I'm not even too sure mm, what's going to work out best for me. I know this is a really pretty highlight. This one as well. I think I'm going to use this one maybe kind of to bronze up my face. I don't know, but let's try it. It looks like it bronzed me up some. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. You know, some powders and some things don't play well together, so. So I guess it looks like it bronzed me up some. What y'all think? Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. So for blush, I'm going to go into this Coastal Sense blush palette. It's the Blush 2 palette. And they have some like really pretty magenta and lavender shades in here. And since my eyes are kind of bright with the whole rainbow thing going on, I think I'm going to mix these three shades together for blush today, y'all. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to use some of my Olay Mist and just kind of set all this powder in and set it before I move on. I know, I just put all that powder on my face just to go ahead <laughs> and make it wet again, but it's a process. So I guess for highlight, I'm going to go into this pretty little swirled block here for highlight today. Okay, so finally back to the eyes. I'm going back into the James Charles palette and grabbing this purple and I'm going to smoke it out with a little bit of pink, I think. So I think I'm going to smoke it out maybe with this bright pink down here. And you guys know I love me a colored eyeliner, so I'm going in with this blue and this is a RK by Kiss. Uh, what color is this? Blue C. RK by Kiss Precision in Blue C. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And for mascara, I'm going to use this Lash Princess by Essence. I'm trying this out today, you guys. I am all over the place with my mascaras. I think I'm going to start a little series testing out mascaras, like one on each eye, so I can see which ones I like and which ones I don't like, so I can start cleaning house, because I got a bazillion mascaras, and I don't like none of them. <laughs> I mean, you know, I start out liking them and then after a while it's like, I don't like this. Okay, you guys, this foundation is not playing. She said, you know what? I said I'm satin and I'm going to be satin. <laughs> Usually after I spray with the Olay and just kind of let it dry and soak in, if I have on a matte foundation, it goes right back to matte. Everything just kind of blends together. But this foundation was like, ooh, ooh, moisture, moisture. I'm back. Ah. So <laughs> it's like I feel like I need to reap out of my face. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to roll with the dewy, okay? But yeah, that foundation is definitely 
satin moist dewy okay lips okay uh i should go nude but mm, where is the fun in that okay uh blue or purple blue or purple blue or purple blurple <laughs> I think I'm going to go in with this really pretty Glitterazzi from Hard Candy. It's really, really pretty. It's a gorgeous glittery like purple shade. Ooh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This color makes me happy every time. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so you guys know I had to go put on my hoops to feel complete, <laughs> to be ghetto fabulous, okay? So I must say, I like this eye look. It's not what I set out to do. It's really not, you guys. It's not what I had planned for today, but I'm feeling it. I like it. Colorful eye looks, they make me feel happy, so. <laughs> and this lip. Okay, it's just like setting the whole thing off. So, anyway, <laughs> enough of me over here feeling myself with this dewy face. I like everything I used today. The concealer mm -mm, will not be my first choice. The Maybelline concealer, not at all. The foundation, it's okay if you like a dewy look. I think I did a good color match, but yeah the dewiness is i'm not really feeling it on the foundation but you know it is what it is it's not it's not too bad so for the foundation and eh, and eh. for the concealer no i won't buy it again i'll probably use it to set my eyelids or something like that but for everything else i like it i like the elf hydration stick that worked really nice on my face the milk blur stick it worked really nice i think um i just have crazy pores right now i really do so it's like no matter what i use my pores are just like fighting for position <laughs> right now i don't know what it is but you know my pores are just here they're here right now so but i do like that milk blur stick i'm gonna use it up use a sample up I like the hydration stick. But anyway, enough of me. Yang, 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 jaw jacking. <laughs> this is it. This is the look today, you guys. I hope you like it. So that's it for this. Get ready with me today, you guys. Hopefully you like this look. I know it's a bit much, but <laughs> this is an everyday look for me. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.